Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. And this time we are going to Shanghai to take a look at this open Jack and Jill competition. I believe the event is called Crossover. It looks like it happened in April 2021. Super excited to take a look at it. I haven't judged a competition from here in a long time, so I'm curious to see how the talent has evolved. Let's get right into it. Go. Crossover. This looks old. Wait a minute. It said 2018. This might be a few years old, so maybe they just posted this. I haven't seen this, so this is good. Yes. This band. I like this tempo. Cameraman's moving a little bit. There's something so liberating about swing dancing, watching people give outbursts of energy with their bodies and show it in public. I love that. I would You probably would never get a chance to see people express emotion like this unless they were dancing, you know? I love that. Ooh, okay. Crossover. Okay. Aaron and Faye. Solid control with this couple. I like what I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Coon and Sylvia. I like how they put the names on this one. This is really nice. Yeah. <laughs> huh. R and Brew. Yeah, so much joy with this couple. I love what I'm seeing. It's like round two. Thank you. 
right, get in the judge's face. I love that. They're like, look at me, judges. <laughs> it never works on me, though. It never works. <laughs> yes. Cameraman, he gets it. was fun that was fun a lot of stuff was in there a lot of little great things i saw man i've got to tell you guys my thoughts let's get right into it all right guys it's that time i'm going to give you my opinion and i'm going to tell you the truth you know me by now i tell you what i'm so impressed that this competition took place in shanghai it's amazing to see how far lindy hop has come and in this open jack and jill i, I was looking at a few things obviously I want to see how well people can improvise doing Lindy Hop together as if they were one body sharing energy at two different points. So of course, obviously those are, that represents two bodies coming together to work together. And so I want to see that. I, I value control. I want to see if the dancers of today can honor the movements of the past respectfully. And so I only had one winner here, my, my main winner understood this based on their dancing ability and their ability to uh, execute those old moves working together in tandem. Ah, pun intended, because I think they did some tandem. And this is the, the couple. The couple is Aaron and Faye. They came out and they were doing like this. Uh, yeah, this is them right here. They just came out, boom. I can see they understand swing out. Look at this. I don't see two individuals trying to show off by just dancing by themselves, holding another person's hand. I see them working together. Even these transitions, look how smooth that transition was from a tuck turn to a tandem Charleston. And now back to close position, doing that tuck turn, getting in there, adding a little bit of personality there. Like that, those little moments like that, that makes me excited for the future to see how these dancers will evolve as they perfect their craft as they go along. So th this couple was my favorite couple in this open competition. I'm just gonna tell you that right up front. Their second, their second uh, set here, they come out again, swing outs, ah, and they vary it up varying up the movements to kind of show what they are capable of in terms of the traditional movements. I just, I loved it. I loved it because their level of dance represents the open Jack and Joe level. And obviously when I'm judging the open Jack and Joe level, I'm looking at control, timing, and creativity, but the priority for the majority of those different parameters really is the control part. I want to see if they can do what has come before respectfully and i think they did it the most now some of you might disagree that's okay but this is my opinion i'm i'm judging this competition and i'm giving you guys my opinion that's who i like now i gotta give you two, i gotta give you my opinion on two other dancers now there were two dancers i feel have so much unique potential to to offer new ideas to the lindy hop genre to be a very distinct personality and I really hope they fine tune what's working. It takes real courage to do that. And first I gotta point out the follow -all I like the most. And I believe her name was Jeep. She has his hat on here and she's working with her lovely partner, 61. Wow, 
That's a cool name. Now, what I like about this follower, it's just there's a there's a relaxed nature to her and there's like this yeah, there's a playfulness that's there, but she's not doing too much with her playfulness. There's just it's contained. There's a cuteness to her movement. She can dance individually, add a little bit of soul. I just I love everything about her movements. There's a little movements with her shoulders when she's doing her swing outs here. This little shaking movement there. I like that. Some people always may say that's a little bad technique. I don't say it's a bad technique unless you can't follow what's being given to you. So bad, good and bad technique are really relative on functionality. Is it can it work? And in this case, it was working with a complete stranger. And I love those nuanced shimmy movements with her shoulder. I really liked her dancing. She was my my favorite dancer out of all of the dancers. So I, I really hope we see more from Jeep. She was really special. Let me get to my leader. This, now this leader, wow, I liked his, his swagger. This leader had so much swagger and was so cool. And there's just a groove to his movement. But what I really liked was how he moved his body with the shapes. There was like a rigid nature to his leading. His name was Kuhn. He's coming out here with his partner. I didn't see his partner's name. Uh, Sylvia, yeah, that's a partner name. She was great too. But the distinction here for me was how choppy his movements are. He's not dancing in a way that seems super derivative. There's something about his natural personality, like that groove little, little movement right there. I like that. When dancers do moves and they make them their own in a way that kind of fits their personality, that's great. He had this, this coolness to his movement that I think a lot of dancers try to imitate in their dancing. And it just comes off as like either super cocky or they, it just seems weird when it doesn't fit. But for me, this fit, this really fit. And I, I think he was really unique in terms of his style. And out of all things, that's really what I really want to see more of in Lindy Hop is more individual uniqueness and style. We have hundreds of teachers now. The, the technique has been explained so many different ways. Some people explain it harder than other people. I, I argue to say that I probably explained it the simplest way on the planet, but that's another story. The reality is, is the problem is where are the individuals? Where is the unique personality? Where are the unique artists in the genre that are going to push the genre forward in a respectable way so dancers years from now will look back at our time and say, I want to dance like that. That's what I want to see more. I can't wait to see that. And I, and I love the open level because these people coming into this level of a competition generally have a lot of excitement and they don't know a whole bunch yet. They don't have a whole lot of context of things. And so they haven't been indoctrinated on you know, what's good, what's bad, you know, they're, they're themselves, but they're still kind of a sponge at the same time. So it's a very vulnerable stage for a dancer to be at this open level, you know, transitioning from the open to the advanced level. Usually what I end up seeing happen is those who go from open to advanced, they end up shaving off the very thing that makes them unique in exchange for something that makes them look like a carbon copy of other dancers that I've seen thousands of other dancers that all dance the same. So that's what I hope to see with this particular combination or this competition style. I want to see more dancers really put themselves out there and take a little bit more risk while it's considered okay. At the open level, people, they don't look at you too highly. So you can take more risk. It's okay. But in taking those risks, don't, don't get rid of all of the things that people tell you may not be cool because you might be actually getting rid of the thing that makes you you. I love when I see dancers be themselves. So that's what I think about this competition, guys. Those are my winners of this competition. You heard it. Let me know who you guys thought was the winner of this competition in the comment section below. If you guys haven't started Lindy Hopping, don't wait. You should do it. Check out some of my free courses below. It's over 25 free courses. You can see some of the original things I've added to the Lindy Hop genre to encourage you and inspire you to get into the game. So with that said, let me know your comments below. And if I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.